Welcome to the next lecture of the module Data Dimension. Until now, we have seen two techniques for selecting the best features so as to predict the outcome. And in this lecture, we'll be talking about extra tree classifier. That's a third technique using which we can find out the most optimal way to choose the best features so as to predict the outcomes. So we aim to find out the parameters which are highly dependent on the outcome or you can say on which the outcome is highly dependent. So we have to find out these correlated parameters with respect to the outcome. Right. So I have imported the library and the only change I am doing is is that I am importing extra tree classifier is that it's basically a model which builds up a tree and that tree is built up based on the importance of that feature. It calculates it and then it builds up it. Okay. So I'm loading the library. Then that's the data. That's the data head we have. Okay. So it's the same data we have used in the previous two lectures of feature selection. Then the data info. We have, we are cleaning the data in the similar manner. Right. And then input and output as we have done in the previous lecture. And now what we have to do is we have to use this extra tree classifier. So I have already imported it above and then I'll say model equals to extra tree classifier. Right. So that's how we initialize the model. Okay. So the model is initialized and now we'll fit our input and output data to this model so that we can calculate the parameter correlation so x comma y here we go it's fitting up the parameters based on their importance it the maths is going behind and in the meanwhile what i'll do is i'll prepare the data so let's name it as features or let's say it as importance so important equal to pd dot now we have to build up the series so that we can visualize what our model has done so i'll say the model name is model dot and then feature importance so feature importance and that's the feature importance i have so and then index equals to the columns we have right and then let's print the importance Okay, wait a second. It's importance is okay. Yep. Yeah. So now you can see that's the feature importance it's giving to us. Right? And you can clearly see that the temperature is having the highest important out of all the parameters. So it's performing exactly like we did in the correlation matrix in the lecture one. So you can say that temperature is highly dependent with the global heat index. We can also visualize our results for that. What we have to do is simply use this IMP. Oh, sorry. Simply use this IMP. Then what I want, I want the n largest. Say five, then dot plot and which kind of graph we want. For this particular data, bar graphs so the best. Okay. Yeah. So that's the five topmost features which are highly correlated with the output global heat index. So temperature, pressure, relative humidity, R, and then wind speed. Right. So using all these techniques, that is what we have done till now. We have used the chi square test in the select k best method then what we have done is we used the correlation matrix then we are using extra tree classifier so using all these techniques together can validate our results and we can be sure about the importance of each parameter in predicting the outcome so this is how we find which parameters or which features are important for us to predict a particular outcome right so you can see that these are the top five features. So when we are training our machine learning model, we can 
feed only these five features as the input and the output will remain same as it is it's obvious but the input data we have to feed will be more refined and our models can much more easily predict the outcome value based on the parameter values we are giving to it right also one more thing that when we are using this model what you are doing is you are reducing the features you are reducing the parameters we want to predict our data initially we were having nine parameters with us but we can use only these five parameters to predict the value because rest of the four will not hold so much of importance right if i plot this wait a second so you can see that how much less values these columns have so you can drop these features and use only the top five features to add to predict your value so this was all for this lecture this was all for feature selection series best of luck and keep following